咁問下，係啦，咁開始就咁樣去遊遊。如果你雙仔點點，好。Hi, good night. This is Hong Kong time. Uh, almost 11 p.m. This is Figure Talk episode 11. Ah, ah, today is Figure Talk. Ah, 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 Figure Talk uh, episode. This episode, this is 11, right? Uh, this is Brian Low. So, uh, if you like the like the program, or if you like the show, please like uh, my page and uh, share with your friends on Facebook or even YouTube or Toys TV, etc. So, uh, tonight we are going to show you. This is not a really new figures, but I we I think um we are going to show another stuff from Play Art Square Enix. And this time, this time uh. This time, this is the first version. I think it's the first version because the color looks, you know, a right dif a little bit different. Uh, the name for this series is uh, Variant Prey Art Sky Deadpool. So the design is by the Mr. Hitoshi Kondo. I think it's a very good Japanese designer. I think uh, I heard that it, he is the chief designer of this company, Prey Art Square Enix. So I'm going to show you this figures tonight. Okay, let's have a look for this. Beside the very funny post, I will show you the original box first. The original box, you can see all the details here inside, right? So thanks, thanks our cameraman. Okay, Mr. X, I call him Mr. X tonight. Tonight, not, 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 not Raymond. Okay, so thanks, thank, you, thank you. And then this is original box, and you can see some box art. Okay. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to play with these figures. So actually, this figure is we can call maybe ten inches high, and it looks pretty close to some one six scale figures. And I guess many of the you know of our fans, friends or collectors audience, they didn't buy this series yet. So I think I have to introduce this series to you all because. I'm going to show you some strength or advantage of this series of products. And you can see when I play with the figure, you can see I can hold many, many different poses. I can say at the very beginning, this series looks really not good. But after maybe three or four years development, they can, sh they can do very good for the articulation and even the appearance. You know, before that, they have good articulation. I mean, they can, you know, do any poses. But the outlook is not good. But you can see right now, this figure looks, you know, looks pretty. I think it's pretty okay, right? There's nothing affect with his appearance. You could say why why the one six scale figures look so cool and look so real because they are using real fabric costume. But for this series from Prey Art, you should know that they use one hundred percent plastic. Uh, the difference is only by you know PVC plastic or ABS plastic. So that means soft plastic and hard plastic. So it is very difficult. You know when when we use plastic to to demonstrate uh, fabrics in the products is really diff difficult. For first thing is the structuring. The structuring, I think they really did a fantastic job of the structuring for all the fabric. Costume or even you know, like especially the croc, you know, Batman have a big croc, you know, very very slim and flying on the, on with the wind. Um, they did a really good job for structuring, and also there's also many skill and professional, uh, uh, uh Im improvement for for the articulations. So they even have articulation with the croc. So they have two very good, uh, things for the product for the articulations. So. You can see all the articulation have no problem. I mean, if you compare with one six scale, there's nothing less. There's nothing less compared with one six scale. Certainly, the size is a little bit smaller than the one six scale. But if 
for some character, maybe maybe like Batman or, or Iron Man, I think I think they can you know perform a pretty good job you know compare with the price. Uh, usually the price for 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 this series of figure is less than one thousand Hong Kong. Maybe I think it's one sixty US dollars. So when they are keep improving their keep improving their the quality of the structuring and productions i think um it make the value higher than before so they did a very good job for all structuring you know two two different i, I i'm not going to remove another one so the articulation of pain the design you know looks really cool and you can see the joints but no not obviously you know different with the original characters so that means it's not ugly we can call if uh, you know some joints and the articulation makes the figure looks really ugly and not to scale but play art i think after a few years of development they are now very good in balancing the acute articulations uh the appearance the scale they did really really good you know i don't have to use my hand to balance the figures you know uh -oh. yeah no problem and with these figures we have not only one head but also another two with different facial expressions okay I think it's different face this this is red eyes and this is also red eyes but smaller eyes and uh, for this all three version of heads they have um, they have they have a better one effect or structuring and you can see the the knife the dagger or you can you might say a dagger the dagger I think it can be oh, okay no no cannot be folded and this is the you know or machine gun. This is a machine gun. And uh, we have also to ten and under ten spare hands. I mean under ten different gestures of hands. So if you treat it as a one six scale figures, I think there's no disadvantage or demerit because uh, they have so many hands okay you could see some funny hand shape like this one and this one this one is hand pistol pistol grabbing hands some is uh, fist some in relax okay and also the painting the, the painting looks really good this that pool looks you know a little bit glossy with his uh, surface color but when they are doing Batman or other character with uh, fabric um, they can also do matte appearance I mean this is not glossy so actually they can do glossy or not glossy color painting and so you can see they are very professional in making the painting the structuring the scale the articulations you know the articulation is very strong you know not this is brutal huh? not not loose not loose that means they can hold because they have using some tilt here I, I, I forgot what to what to what to spell in English but this look you know a click sound that means every different pose with different angles they have some mechanism to make the articulation strong enough to stand hold or fix in the positions so you can see the you know they can do like that a very good articulations I'm not sure if right position wrong position okay yeah very good articulation and very strong very strong you can see boom drop Boom drop, okay. 
so it's very strong articulation. They do a very good mechanism with the articulation and joint. Yeah, the only complaint for this figure is the feet joint. Sometimes we have to find a way to make to make the feet in a balancing pose to make the figure stand more firm with your design position. Besides that, I think they did very good job. Right? Sometimes we have to find what is the best position for the feet. Uh, maybe I'm not so familiar with the joint and cup, joint and articulation, but as I could see the articulation joint here for the feet, you mean the angles of the feet, uh, we have to search for a good balance. But besides that, the painting, sculpturing, the outlook, the scale, I am very satisfied with such a scale. Certainly, you might find you may think that oh, for almost 1,000 Hong Kongs or, or for almost 150 US dollar is is not not a not a cheap price, right? Uh, you you might think that I would prefer one six scale, but actually uh, for one six scale figures, you now average uh, this is almost goes to 200 US. So there is still some difference, the price difference between this series and the one six scale series. So for some, I mean, uh, freshman or late one collectors or or they prefer more articulation or want to make more fun with the you know all the praying I think this one is also a good opportunity and choice for them you know it's different it's different but you know the price is also different so I think it 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 provides a very good choice for us okay you can we can see a very beautiful songs with a good uh, you know native voice yeah that means my cameraman has to be go so I think this episode is going to the end so this I think Prey Art, Square Enix, or Mr. Hitoshi Kondo, you did a very good design for this. Thank you for giving us a very good design, you know, a variant of that pool. You know, your design is not really cool. I think it can be a character in the real Hollywood movies. Yeah, all the director in Hollywood movies, please consider Mr. Kondo design. You know, look very, very different, but you know, still very cool. Yeah, so I think this is the one of the most special things of this series because they all redesigned the figures but you know not making another alien but another improved versions of the figures just like that okay so this is good thank you very much and thanks for watching figure talk episode 11 i'm brian no thanks for watching and please like my page if you think this is you know more informative and we have the newest information of figure. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.